Clean tones on that, flicking through all of the tonal quality on it, it's just incredible. But for gallows, it's it's easier to play a telly because it just feels a little stronger. Like just the feel of the guitar, the feel of it on the body, it just feels like it's got a bit more. I can throw it around and I don't feel as if it's going to go as much. I'm Steph Carter, one of the guitar players at Gallows, and we're backstage at Sonosphere Festival, sitting in the Fender booth, having a chat about why I play Fender Telecasters. So how long have you been playing them? Uh, I've been playing tellies. In fact, the first guitar I ever had when I was little, when I was learning, was a Squire Strat, a blue one. And I've had it, I think I got it when I was 14. So I've had that guitar now for 11 years. It's in seven pieces in my bedroom because when I was about 18 I thought I'd try and change the paint on it from blue to white. So I left it in my garden where I was sanding it down, didn't realise it was going to snow, forgot about it for two days and then when I went out to get it, it just completely broken in half because it couldn't handle the weather as most things can't if you leave them in the snow for two days straight. But uh, yeah, I played that for like what four years when I was growing up. And then I moved on to playing all different guitars and then eventually, two years ago, I think I got in touch with you guys about getting some tellies and I got just a classic thin line and a 60s, just in a 60s Mexican, just to try out, see how they felt. And they played great. I used them both when we were recording Great Britain a couple of times. And then actually I bought, before them I bought uh, an Aerodyne. And I really, I really liked it. Really nice neck, really slim body. Yeah, it sounds really full with the P90 and the single coil. That actually was used on every track on the record as well, which is nice. And then after touring for a little bit, playing various different guitars, I was used to, and I moved on to playing Telecasters live, and that was the start of 2009. I started using Tellys live, and I haven't really gone back. I've been playing. Telecasters for the majority of every set I've played since 2009 yeah. and I've been playing the two I'm playing now which I've had since just before Christmas is the classic player deluxe or just a classic, classic player, player deluxe, yeah. classic player deluxe standard Telecaster two humbuckers four controls with a uh, maple neck with the small Telecaster headstock instead of the big 72 headstock because I just prefer the small one. I've been playing them now for, yeah, since Christmas I got my first one and I played it and played it and played it and no matter what I do to it, it just will not break. So I thought I'd get another one and see if I could do the same to that and it's been exactly the same. Both guitars are just like workhorses. No matter what I do to them, no matter how hard I play them, no matter how hard I thrash them, they just will not break. So I'm like, I'm really happy with the way they sound. They sound great for my rig. I'm running two Marshalls. Actually, no, I'm running one Marshall and one Blackstar now. And the guitars, the, the clarity from the Fenders just cuts through. All of the tones are there. They just sound great. For what we're doing, playing fast punk rock music, you don't see that many people in the genre I play playing Telecasters. I don't really know why, because I think they sound great for what we're doing. They just work really well, the tone's there, the clarity's there. And I've just recently bought two uh, American standard Telecasters, which I'm just waiting for them to ship over from the States, because they're a very popular guitar. Yeah, so, and then uh, you guys hooked me up with one of the American special Telecasters as well, which sounds great. The pickups are now really, really hot. They've got a great output on them. They're kind of, the two single coils, but They've got more balls than a lot of humbuckers I've ever played yeah. before. They just sound like, for what we're doing again, they're just really good. They've got a lot of body and they sound really, really heavy. So yeah, they're just... And Mike did the custom. Mike did the custom on it. Yeah, I've got the American Special I've got. It's got the Great Britain flag from my last record painted on it, which is great. I haven't got it here with me today because it's being restrung in my bedroom at the minute and ran out of strings. <laughs> so... Bit of a difficult one. But yeah, the two I've got with me today, they're my two classic player deluxe, or just classic players. Classic player deluxe, classic player deluxe with the small headstock, both were custom paints. One of them's like the vintage white from like the 80s when you get a guitar then white and it kind of fades to yellow. And then the second one I, I got two weeks ago, which is like a gunmetal grey finish. So they're the two that I'll be playing during our set today.